Welcome to A Word of Hope for Thursday of the seventh week of Ordinary Time. My name is Father Louis Moroni, the Prior Provincial for the Dominicans of the Province of St. Albert the Great. These last weeks of Easter, before we headed into Ordinary Time, we've been hearing a lot about love. God's love for us, our love for God, the Son's love for the Father and the Father for the Son, our love for Jesus and called to love one another as Jesus loves us. So we've heard some beautiful uh, passages about love, which we all need to hear. Maybe we don't hear it enough. And then we switch into ordinary time and we hear a gospel today that is much harsher than these beautiful words of love. Yes, it is about sin, which is serious. But Jesus says, if an arm causes you to sin, cut it off. Or a leg, cut it off. Or an eye, gouge it out. Do you think that Jesus literally means to cut off an arm, a leg, and gouge out an eye? I think Jesus is trying to get across to us that this is serious, to be in, involved in sin, that we need to eliminate from our lives in some way, in drastic ways perhaps. Those sins of uh, gossip and grudges, those sins of greed, we need to eliminate them, cut them out of our lives. That's what Jesus is trying to get across to us. We must make some drastic changes in our life. Then we can get back to loving one another as Jesus taught us to, and he calls us to love one another as he loved us. We must cut those things out of our life to produce fruit. We know that beautiful image from John of the vine and the branches where it has to be pruned in order to produce fruit. And that's perhaps what we are called to today, to look at our lives, to eliminate those things that cause us to sin. The little things of gossip, like I said, grudges, greed, and to really turn that over to the Lord and ask Jesus to help us in those things in our lives that we need most help with in the area of sin. And it's there that we will continue to grow in his love for us. And so today we are vessels of his love as we make some pretty drastic changes in our life during this ordinary time. God bless you.